Leopard. <laughs> Hang on. Rex, I've got the ingwe here. <laughs> That's so cool. No, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm I'm having a good laugh because I don't know what's around. Rexon was right here. Rexon was walking around. Hang on, I'm gonna let Rex take her all control of the sighting. He's fine. That is so funny. <laughs> James and Rexon were walking out on foot. Now you can see why it was almost impossible to see this leopard. Look where it's laying between a log and a small tree completely invisible that was fantastic that is why I, I love the bush so much and that leopard did not get up once to move it has obviously been watching I don't know who it is just yet I'll tell you now it's also slightly concerned with the elephants so it's going to try and hide away from the elephants I'm wondering Craig what do you think I wonder if our view is actually not going to be better on that side because we can zoom in hey or, or let's see I think it could be Shongile I'm just trying to think or Hosanna or tamba. <laughs> it's a young leopard. <laughs> That's what I've got for you now. Can we have a closer look, Craig, so I can just look at his face very quickly? And then I'll be able to tell you. Okay, well, it doesn't look like a Sosana because there's no nick. I didn't see a nick on the left ear, which is a telltale sign. Um, I need to get a bit of you because I can't really see. How's that, Craig? Can we have a... Sorry, I have to... I can't... I need to use the camera to actually have a closer look to see exactly who it is. Uh, no, it is Zosana. My bad. I can see the nick in his ear now. You can see on the top left and also those very golden eyes. Yes. Hello, young man. So now... That's very interesting. So we've got Hosana. There was now also a female leopard tracks around here, so I wonder if Shongile is not in the area too. And... He's hiding away from the elephants. I'm sorry that we're not going to win. What do you think, Craig? There's elephants. It's a, t it's a very awkward position that we've got ourselves in because the elephants are now drinking on the other side. Our, our friend who's the big elephant, he's had his drink. He's not interested now. You can just see the splashes of water. But also, I'm probably not going to move. He's probably going to just wait here until those elephants move out of the way. We would never have seen him. If we were not with these elephants would not have seen this leopard and if it wasn't for the elephants coming down here and making such a noise he wouldn't have got up to see what was actually going on that was so great <laughs> hey James <laughs> that's so funny we're having a good laugh and this is what I love so much about it doesn't matter how close you are you those tracks will be so fresh but if they're lying in an area in long grass between, like we've got seen, like we've got here, a log and a shrub, <laughs> you will not see him. I, I was staring at that log the entire time and I had no idea that was a leopard there until he stood up. That is so funny. Well, that's great for everybody. Yeah, it doesn't matter who finds the animal in the end. We knew it was here. I think the stars of the show for finding us, this beautiful cat, have to be the elephants so thank you elephants thank you for being as rowdy as what you are making noise and picking up trees because if it wasn't for you we wouldn't have seen this beautiful creature now you can see those elephants just in the corner they're moving off now they didn't stop to have a swim they had a quick drink of water they're going to carry on feeding for the rest of the day i presume maybe stopping for the odd siesta under a maruda tree oh uh, this is funny now oh, i'm trying to figure out what we're going to do what our best positioning is going to be. We obviously in a very awkward spot. We're on a very steep embankment. And I'd love to go and park in the dam for you just to leave rusty, to rust away in the water too. But I wonder, I know what will happen if I go around onto the other side of the dam. You see, we're lucky we've got a camera so we can zoom all the way in. He'll probably put his head behind the log and then we won't be able to see him. So we'll just be patient for the moment and then decide what we'll, what we'll do in a second. Ah, oh, that is so great. Woohoo! I'm so excited. Hey. So, you know what? If we didn't stop at those giraffe and spend some time with them, and if we didn't stay with the elephants for as uh, long as we did this morning, we wouldn't have this cat. Isn't that great? So thank you to nature for making us stop, making us be patient. Again, like I said, I think that's our life lesson that we're always learning from the animals is patience. Hmm. 
Hmm. Craig, I know what I know exa I know if I move, he's gonna move. Into an awkward spot and then he'll just have to come back again. I don't think you're ever gonna have to go that way. No. I, if we were on the other side of the dam we could see his face nicely because we could just zoom in, but by the time we get around there he'll get up and move. But this is really nice. He's obviously been quite busy, I can imagine. Throughout the night walking around. I haven't seen many male leopard tracks, so I don't know where he's come from. I actually don't know where Hosanna has been for the last few days, to be honest. Uh, when did I last see him? I last saw him ages ago, like two weeks ago, I think it was. Maybe even, yeah, about two weeks ago. And and then that, that's really been it. No, Craig was the sighting that we had of him. I don't know if I was with you. I can't remember if it was up in the tree when he was had the sticks pried below him. It was with Sebastian. Yeah. I'm trying to remember. Well, I've seen him twice this cycle. That's all I know. Once just very quickly coming out of the Mulwati. That, and then the other one with Sebastian was when he was up in the tree looking petrified. He doesn't look as petrified anymore. He looks, uh, he looks much more relaxed. Well, I suppose that's because he doesn't have any lions down on the ground below him. How's that? Using that log to his advantage just to rest his head on. You don't look very comfortable. You're sort of sitting at half sitting standing position. Now, I would love it if we could have some impala come down and drink at the dam. Wouldn't that be great? Hello, Paul. Now, you're wondering how old is this male leopard that we've got sitting here? Well, Osana must be about a year, just over a year and a half now. Yeah, February, March, April, May, June, July. Almost, actually, almost a year and a half. Just slightly, just slightly less. You're going to go back to sleep again, yes. I don't know if we'll see much action from him today. Like I said, he's obviously been very, very busy. He must be quite tired now. <laughs> Megan, are there any other names you'd like to run through this morning? <laughs> That was so funny. I have to tell you, Megan was saying to me, because obviously we are prompted when we need to go across to the different feeds, but it's she's reminded me just of my mom when my mom tries to shout at me when I go home. It was really funny. She goes, she goes, when you're when you're ready, you can link to Tristan. I mean Taylor. I mean Byron in the tent. <laughs> that sounds like my mom when I've done something wrong. She's trying to get to me. She'll go, Rod. Ryan, uh, Sean, I mean Taylor. I'm always the last one now because I don't live at home. <laughs> Anyways, well, as Megan said we're going to do, we're not going to go over to Tristan. You're sitting with me. We're going to go across to Byron. It seems as though he's found something to put under the microscope. <laughs> 